Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for boron trifluoride. So here we go. Uh, boron trifluoride is going to be uh, BF3. Okay, that's going to give us three valence electrons from the boron plus three fluorines each with seven valence electrons for a total of 24 valence electrons, all right? And we can subtract out the largest multiple of eight, so subtract out 24 gives you zero, and since 24 is equal to eight times three, that means that this is gonna have an AX3 structure, meaning central atoms surrounded by three peripheral atoms and zero non-bonding pairs, okay? So we're gonna just go ahead and start to draw this structure. You have the boron in the center, surrounded by the three fluorines, and we can go ahead and single bond all of the fluorines to the boron and then fill in the octets for each of the fluorines. Alright, and that's actually going to be pretty much it. We can go ahead and check the formal charges now just to verify. So the formal charge on the uh, boron is going to be the three valence brought in minus one, two, three bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on the each of the fluorines, and they all have the same setup, so their formal charges will all be equal. That is going to be the seven valence brought in for each one minus a single bond on each fluorine minus the six, two, four, six non-bonding electrons on each fluorine. And those also have a formal charge of zero. Multiply that times three because there are three of them. Still going to be zero. Add them all up. That's going to overall have a formal charge of zero which is what we need because this is a neutrally charged compound okay it's not an ion so the formal charge should be zero uh, in terms of shape with the AX3 structure then that means that this will have a trigonal planar shape alright and when you have the trigonal planar type of structure the bond angle it's going to be approximately equal to 120 degrees, so this angle right here, okay? Um, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central atom boron, there's one, two, three bonding sites or electron groups, so you need three orbitals, so sp2 hybridization, 1s and 2ps, so three orbitals for three electron groups, all right? And because these are all three fluorines, they're all the same kind of atom, all their polarities will cancel out, making this non-polar, okay? And that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.